What up, everyone? Welcome back to the Nerdery. On this episode, two Heras will enter, and one shall be deemed victorious. We'll unbox the brand new Hera with photoreal face and new Star Wars Black Series packaging and compare her to her prior version. Then we will ask and answer the question, is this Hera upgrade worthy? Stay tuned until the end for the photo montage and to get my take. If you're someone who likes to collect figures and keep them in box like I do, this packaging is very alluring. Top of the new box is a clear viewing window with a diagonal cut. Moving to the front of the box, the top has a Star Wars Black Series logo, the figure Hera Syndulla, her blaster. The bottom has a purple stripe with Star Wars Black Rebels and then her name Hera Syndulla is written in purple. One of my favorite new features of this box is the angled side art. I love how you can see it from multiple angles with the figure. The other thing that's really cool is it has the exact same footprint as the old box. I think that's a worthy upgrade right there. So if I'm considering whether or not hair is a worthy upgrade, but I'd like to display my figures in box, I feel this new box is such an upgrade that even before I've gotten to the figure that it's worthy of one. What do you guys think? Side of the box has grayscale art with the ghost on top and then hair with an eyebrow raised and that really cool purple flowing up through the bottom. Starting at the bottom, you have number five Star Wars Rebels, more of the art from the side of the box, Harrison Dula's description, and the Star Wars Black Series logo. The final side of the box has a see-through window with a purple stripe and a Star Wars The Black Series logo. Hera Syndulla is a Twi'lek that was born 29 years before the Battle of Yevon. She is the daughter of General Cam Syndulla. After seeing the devastation of the Clone Wars on her homeworld of Ryloth, Hera trained to be an expert pilot, left Ryloth as the captain of the Ghosts, and started her own resistance movement. Wow, dude. First impression is she is a beautiful figure. They really captured the essence of Hera and beautifully interpreted her face from animation to photoreal. The original Hera figure was pretty sweet too. They did an outstanding job of capturing the spirit of her animated. So taking a look at these figures side by side, they're both excellent face sculpts. I think the old Hera was just incredible to begin with. It, it was really, it's really hard to improve upon what they did. The new face actually kind of reminds me of Jamie Lee Curtis a little bit. Doesn't it? When you look at it from the side right here, I'm gonna put up a picture on the video. Tell me that doesn't look a little bit like Jamie Lee Curtis. That's actually pretty cool. The new face sculpt really just looks more human than cartoon. You could see it in the eyebrows and the eyes, although the eyes are definitely harder to make out than the older figure. The lips are a darker tone versus the brighter pink on the old figure. So her goggles look identical. They have silver around the lenses as well as on the side. Head wrap looks identical. And the only other difference I can see is that her twilight markings are more pronounced on the new figure. It's slight, but I can definitely tell a difference. But I do know that this figure has been loved by two girls for many years, so that could also be a difference as well. The new Hera's orange pants are more washed out. In this area here of the pants that looks like a controller, these circles are just slightly smaller than these. Literally, that's the only other difference I can find on these figures. So just like the original Hera, we have a thigh cut. You have a double pin at the knee, which is greatly appreciated. Pretty good flexibility, although it is hindered a little bit here by the rubber belt that hangs down. Hera still has a holder for her blaster on her right ankle. And thankfully she doesn't have high heels. These are boots. Rocks all the way back. Wow. And all the way forward. And then tilts side to side. Dude, that's impressive. Look at that. Twilux must be real flexible. The new Hera's head articulates down very nicely. Back is slightly limited. And then she has some side to side tilt as well. But I do always appreciate a little bit of head tilt and flexion and her figure is very limited. The goggles move, but they flex right back. You have 360 degree movement at the shoulder, comes all the way out. You have one pin at the elbow, 360 degree turn. The wrist moves at 360 degrees and has inflection back. The other wrist has inflection up and down. 
She has a swivel at the hip, nice rotation side to side, back and forth, pretty typical of a female Star Wars character. Hera's blaster is tiny to say the least. It looks pretty neat, it's got gold and black on it, nice shiny silver. So let's put it in her hand and she doesn't have a trigger finger, so you have to put it in place pretty gingerly, but if you rest it in there, she can hold it in place like that and pose with it. So it looks pretty cool with her, and I do love how shiny that gold is. All right, it's time for some playtime. Here's Hera scaled with Ezra and Sabine. Hmm, which Sabine is that? The new or the old? And the MVP of this wave so far, Zeb. I got Zeb crouched down a bit because one of his ankles is wobbly, and that's the best way for me to get my figure to stand. So, wow, dude, he towers over them at 6'10". Hera is 5'9", and Sabine is 5'7", and I know Ezra is shorter than them. Dude, I can't wait to get Kanan and complete this set. Scale fun. Here's Hera with Dr. Aphra, and they have met in canon in the comics. I really enjoy reading all the Star Wars comics on Marvel Legends. I actually think it's some of the best Star Wars storytelling since Disney bought them. And then Cassian Andor and Jin Erso from Edu. By the way, I think that Jin Erso figure is underrated. Wow, dude, Hera scales really well with all of them. And her face with Aphra, both being photo real, really, really stand out. I think that's pretty cool. There's Krennic, a Scarif Stormtrooper, and the Carbonized Second Sister, which I got for $7 in an eBay lot win. Not too shabby. Hera scales great. She looks great with Krennic and the Scarif Trooper too. And I, I think she's an amazing figure. Really, really amazing figure. And she definitely looks like Jamie Lee Curtis. So is this Hera upgrade worthy? I'm going to say yes with a few conditions. The new Black Series box art is phenomenal. So I would definitely recommend getting the photo reel Hera with the new box. If you're a completionist and are getting any part of this set, I highly recommend getting all the figures together. There's a really cool synergistic effect with all the photo reel faces. I feel like the first Hera was an excellent figure and it represented her animated character well. I think this new Hera takes the spirit of her animated character and brings it to life beautifully. So now I feel like I have two really cool Heras, although one of them is technically my daughter's. Thank you for watching. See you real soon.